What's up everybody, this is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you get the information you need right up front, and if you want more, stick around for a step-by-step -step walkthrough. Today we're going to talk about some weird, wild, and crazy changes that have happened inside SharePoint lists. It kind of looks like Microsoft lists. Stick around! I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra, careful with my hands cause I gotta use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd, I like maple syrup, all my pancakes, I don't care what you heard. Okay, we're going to take 60 seconds and try and show you what's new here and what may be coming to your tenant anytime. All right, so let's go ahead and get that timer rolling. Okay, boom. First things first, look at these tabular view dealios. Like, the views are in tabs here, okay? Um, you got the filter pane still. I don't see the uh, uh, the details pane with the activity, who added, deleted, and all that stuff. Uh, what else? Oh, there's a new column available. If you hit the plus sign, you can scroll down. You can see there's a new column for average rating. What else? Well, you can also click on this little double arrow here to open an immersive mode, get rid of the navigation, and it takes you into Microsoft Lists. Whoa. And then we want to go back to the site. We go back to the site. So apparently you can now jump right into Microsoft Lists uh from sharepoint there you go I don't know if we made it in 60 seconds or not but let's slow down take a little breather and uh talk about some of this madness here so one of the things that really caught my attention was the fact that i cannot see an activity list of, of what's happened you know people adding modifying deleting files uh you we used to have the details pane over here uh and also i would use that to edit list item so I would select you know why we're lagging here wow the lag is ridiculous okay uh, and then I would go you know over here and to the right and all this white space and you know type in the metadata so I'm not sure what's going on with that if it's coming back uh, if you're listening Microsoft please bring it back uh, all right so you know and visually speaking this is you know definitely not what we're used to seeing in SharePoint list we got the views going across as tabs and the additional tabs or additional views are right here we can launch a new view right from this plus button uh, you can start with a list view calendar view gallery view or board haven't really done a lot with these other views if you'd like to see something in particular let us know in the comments uh, let's see can we modify Okay, so we got our drop down. So when we switch to the view, it gives us the drop down so we can do our normal things here. All this looks pretty good. Um, save you as, yep. Okay, and then we have part of the, uh, the visual style here is we have these little lines over here. I don't recall formatting the list to do this. I think it's just part of the new update. And we have a new column so let's add the new column uh, we'll hit the plus su plus sign and we'll go to the average rating and let's create that column sorry we couldn't add the average rating column please try again well that's amazing let's refresh let's try that one more time shall we oh okay uh, we refreshed and now it doesn't appear my it looks like old SharePoint okay uh, am I imagining this and then we what did I just catch a glitch let's let's refresh again maybe they maybe I wasn't supposed to get that release oh there we go now I refreshed again and now we're back okay that's weird you all saw that all right let's see what refreshing does again okay and one more time now let's try and add that uh, that new column the average rating okay create Sorry we couldn't add the average rating column. Please try again. And I think the sequence was refresh, and it took us to the old school. Oh, still in the new school. We also have comments. I feel like comments were there before as well. Um, that is very interesting. I'm not able to add that. Let's try, let's try going to list settings and go that route and see if we see it there as well in the backstage. So we'll create a column. We should see average rating in here somewhere. Da, 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 da. No. So maybe I have to be in Microsoft lists. 
um, get back to the list and let's go this route and let's see what happens if we try and add the average rating create sorry we couldn't do that well all right uh, I don't know if I was supposed to get this or not let me know if you have this how it's behaving for you you can kind of see how it's behaving on this end hope it's been helpful if it pops up uh, don't freak out it'll be okay just roll with it and uh, let us know what you see and experience in your tenants in the comments with that I'll say do the best you can with what you got. Remember, SharePoint rocks, and so do you. We'll see you next time. Take it easy, y'all. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands, because I got to use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard.